Hey everyone, it's Camille. Today I have a super exciting video for you guys. It's our nursery tour. I am currently 39 weeks with our baby girl, so she could come at any moment, but I'm really hoping that I can get this video out before she does. Little update, I did not finish this video before I had my baby. I had my baby about two days after this video was filmed, so I did not get to finish it. If you wanna see some pictures of her, you can go to my Instagram, which is Camille Am with two M's and see her cute little face over there. We've been working on this room for a couple of months and it's finally finished. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, it's pretty gender neutral and it doesn't really have like a set theme, but there's definitely elements in it that are recurring, I guess. So I guess it does kind of have a theme. Um, the first theme is kind of an orange citrus theme. And the reason behind that is oranges and fruit in general have been my number one pregnancy craving especially throughout my first trimester and my second trimester because that's when they were in season. I was eating so many oranges and Caden actually had to tell me <laughs> how many oranges I could eat a day. And so that's how that kind of came about when I found these wall decals that I really like. The second recurring theme in here is actually llamas. So I know that's kind of random, oranges and llamas, but it's working, we're going with it. Um, I had a llama baby shower where there were actual llamas at the baby shower. It was so much fun. They were really nice and tame. And then I've had this really large llama toy for a while that Kaden got me for Valentine's Day a couple of years ago. So when we started doing this room, I put the llama in here. Um, and then my mom just kept getting me llama stuff. <laughs> um, and then I've gotten a couple of llama books and it's just kind of snowballed into part of the nursery theme and we're going with it. I also got gifted a llama mobile from one of my friends. She handmade it and it's beautiful. So that's another thing that's in here. Um, yeah, so those are kind of the nursery themes and a little bit of backstory on the nursery. And before we get into the video, make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below letting me know if you like baby content and nursery content um and i might post more videos kind of in this genre and let's get on to the video this is what the room looked like when we first bought our house and with our other house renovations this room got painted we redid the floors and we also redid the baseboards and added a new light fixture after a lot of planning and pinterest searching i decided the vibe i wanted and we started applying these decals to the wall at first, me and my husband just taped them to the wall using some painter's tape to get an idea of the spacing. The next day, I took the sticky backing off and applied them using a credit card. These decals turned out so amazing. I've actually had a couple people ask me if I painted them onto the wall because that's how good they look. They do not look like stickers at all. They really just blend right into the wall. In this shot, we're a little bit further along. We have our crib and our rocking chair and our rug. I will link all these items down below. I love this rug because it's so neutral and fluffy, but one thing that I do have to say is that it does shed a lot. So when I vacuum it, it basically fills up the vacuum every time and I have to empty it. So yeah, just keep that in mind if you do end up going with this rug. You can't have a baby nursery without some cute bookshelves. These are the Ikea bookshelves and these have been out of stock for a while and they came back in stock just in time and I was so happy about it. I also got some decorative shelves from Crate and Barrel to hang above the dresser as well as a round mirror. Now it's time for the best part, which is the final touches that brings the space all together.
favorite features in this room are definitely the wall decals that we chose. And then I also love this crib. It's the Ikea crib. You'll definitely see it on Pinterest everywhere. It's pretty popular. Um, and it was sold out for a while. I'm so glad we were, we were able to get it. But it's really cheap and really simple and it does the job. These prints are a project that I did myself. I saw some inspo pics online and then I kind of customized them to the colors of the nursery. But what I did was I took our iPad and an app called Procreate and I just drew what I wanted and then got them printed out at a print shop. And it was super cheap. It was like $4 for both of them to get them printed out. Another project I did was this punch needle citrus pillow. I got the inspo from an Instagram account that I found that I will link down below. She does sell pillows that are pretty similar to this, but I decided to try to make it on my own and I think it turned out pretty good. Then in the closet, I'm still working a little bit on the organization in here, but I've hung up a lot of like kind of one piece outfits and dresses and stuff like that. And then all of like her pajamas, onesies and leggings are in the dresser. Um, yeah, so this is kind of still a work in progress, but this is what it looks like so far. This little corner is kind of just decorative for now. It might have to change up in the future when we need storage for other things, but I just have this hanging plant. Um, I also have some macrame and some pompous grass. I love pompous grass. It just adds texture to the room and I actually sell this on my online store and I will link it down below. Then over on this side of the room, we have the changing table dresser situation. Um, we have these two shelves that are basically decorative purposes only. This lemon print is something else that I just did on Procreate. And then I also made this little macrame rainbow that's super easy. And yeah, I really love how this turned out. Then we have some diapering supplies right here, um, some socks, the Hatch sound machine, and a changing pad. The last thing I wanted to talk about is the Llama Mobile that my friend made me. It's so, so cute and I love it and I just have it hanging over our little changing table. And that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed our nursery tour. Hopefully the next time I make a video, I will have had my baby and everything will have gone well. Super nervous about the whole delivery process, so send me good vibes. Comment down below if you enjoyed this nursery tour and what your favorite part of it was. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!